Hey everyone and welcome to Nutty Chess Tips with me Nutty T. Today I'm going to show you how to deal with the wayward queen attacks as well as the scholar's mate. So as usual check it out. The first moves on the table are e4, e5. If your opponent goes queen h5 I just recommend knight c6. You're now guarding this pawn. Any other moves here, for instance, if you threaten the queen, you're just simply losing because then they take on e5, iron up the rook on the next move. So this is not good. Knight c6 is the best move. And if they go bishop c4, they're iron up this pawn on f7. So if you just think, I'll put my knight on f6 threatening the queen it's simply checkmate on f7 so here we just go g6 your opponents will usually go queen f3 still iron up this pawn we go knight f6 and now it is guarded by the queen so they cannot take now what your opponents usually do is they want to undermine this knight and try and take it out of commission so they go g4 now I just recommend knight d4 and now you're iron up the queen but you're also iron up the pawn on c2 your opponent will usually go queen d1 still guarding this pawn on g4 so now we have a lovely move which is d5 and now obviously if your opponent goes e takes d5 bishop takes on g4 now they usually cover with f3 and now we have a lovely move and that is kamikaze knight e4 so we're sacrificing a piece now as you can see by the highlighted arrow we're looking at this space on h4 obviously if your opponent takes the knight we just simply take the queen so they usually go f takes g4 and now we go in for the queen check they only have one move in this situation and that's king f1 and now we go boom checkmate so let's go back now what if your opponent goes bishop c4 on move two again i recommend knight c3 if they move the queen to f3 now we have a lovely little move and instead of moving the knight to g6 what i recommend here is go f5 if they take with the queen we have this lovely move d5 and obviously if your opponent is just concentrating on the bishop trying to get the quick checkmate and they take we simply take the queen and we're winning so let's go back your opponent here obviously will usually take with the pawn we go knight f6 they usually go knight e2 getting ready to castle and we go e4 threatening the queen and the queen usually backs up the bishop and goes queen b3 still eyeing up this square now we go d5 the bishop usually pins the knight to the king we're not really bothered about this we just want to go on the attack so we take this weak pawn on f5 with the bishop. They usually castle and we go bishop d6. And now we're iron up this pawn on h2. And now we have got a nice attack coming. They usually take the knight with the bishop. We simply take back. And here they're still needing to develop. So they usually go d3. Now, if they go d3, what I recommend here is just to castle 
if they go bishop f4 trying to cover this line we simply take they take back with the knight and then we go d6 if they go back with the knight we have this lovely move knight g4 and as you can see we've got checkmate in one now what your opponents will usually do is go g3 covering this line and now we threaten the queen with the rook they usually go queen c3 we go e3 and now if they take we have this lovely move queen h6 and now we have an unstoppable attack your opponent will usually go rook f2 and now we just whip off this rook with the knight king takes and we go queen check on h2 the king usually goes to e1 and now we go bishop g4 king d1 and now we simply go check and then if king c1 boom checkmate so i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments below check out the other videos and it's nice